Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're anything like me and you've been influenced on TikTok and starting to learn about niche fragrances, then this video will be really helpful for you. I got some samples that I'm gonna review of some really popular fragrances that I've seen all over TikTok. That way it can save you some time, save you some coin because we are not blind buying fragrances in 2024. Okay, so these are all of the fragrances that I'm gonna be reviewing today. I've worn them all on my skin, seen how the longevity is, gonna give you an overview of the notes and my thoughts because I have a lot of them. The first fragrance that I'm gonna review is Silky Woods by Goldfield & Banks. I'm gonna list the fragrance notes right here. And to me, if you are a vanilla lover, then I think that you're gonna really like this one. This is a perfect vanilla for the autumn and the winter months because it's really warm and cozy. To me, this is a vanilla that smells like someone with like an 800 credit score who always has the best accessories on. To me, this is very beautiful and I would rate this a nine out of 10 and I would love to have this as a full size. Next, we have Duchessa by Gritty. This is a beautiful, dark cherry fragrance. Initially, when I first put this on, it did smell a little cough syrupy. It did give a little hint of robotism, but the beauty is in the dry down, some brown sugar, it has some saffron, some peach. It's absolutely stunning. This is the scent that you would think of when you think of the words femme fatale. This is what you would smell. This is like a very mysterious, like girl in leather in the fall in the in the club like that's what this is giving this is very very beautiful for like a date night girls night something out like at night 10 out of 10 i want a bottle of this next we have happy nuts by born to stand out this has pistachio almond sesame caramel musk this is beautiful if you are a fresh fragrance lover i think that you're gonna really like this because this is a gourmand that leans more to the fresh side to me this smells kind of like soapy but at the same time like a bakery like a like a warm pastry at the same time if you get my vibe like i know that, that sounds kind of contradictory to me i think this is really great for going to work, something that's not super loud and offensive. It's a very soft, beautiful, fresh gourmand scent that I think can really be worn all year round. I rate this one an eight out, I rate this one an eight out of 10. The next fragrance I have is Initio Narcotic Delight. This was not a delight for me. I think it has to do with the rose and the tobacco or something in this that I absolutely do not like. It is extremely strong. And as you can see, these are dabbers. So I just did a little a little thing like that and just went about, you know, the hours just to see how this wore, wore on my skin. I put this on in the evening, probably like five or six at night. I smelled this on my skin the next morning when I woke up and it was just so strong and pungent that like I wanted to wash my wrist off. I don't know who this will smell good on, but it ain't gonna smell good on me. It smells like really masculine, but strong and offensive and not hot. But it it does not smell good to me. Initio makes very pungent, strong fragrances, and this is the second one that I've tried from them that I don't like. So I don't know. I give it a zero out of 10. This is Dama Bianca by Zerjoff. This is a fragrance that I've been wanting to sample for the longest time because people said that it smells like a wedding fragrance, very soft, pretty girl. Yes, when I think of Dama Bianca, this smells like pastels to me. This smells like a pastel pink, pastel yellow. That is what this smells like. And it smells kind of like springtime. This is perfect for the office. This is perfect for if you want this to be your signature scent. It is a very soft, beautiful, sweet floral. 10 out of 10, I want a full bottle of this. This next fragrance is Dirty Rainbow by Born to Stand Out. Now this was an accident that was sent to me. I originally ordered Dirty Heaven, which I do have, and I'm gonna review that as well. But this, looking at the notes, you would think that this would be a hit. This is a pungent saffron bomb. I think that the amount of saffron in this fragrance compared to the one in Duchessa, the, the levels are not leveling, like earthy carpet. Like that's the best way that I can describe it. The way that this is mixed, the, the way that it's blended, it is zero out of 10 for me. Like low key, low key, I should start rating some of these in the negative, but this is a zero for me. Absolutely not. I can't even say whether this is like a more masculine or feminine leaning scent. It's just extremely strong and offensive. I don't like it. 
This is the fragrance that I originally ordered. This is Dirty Heaven by Born to Stand Out. And looking at the notes, you would think that I would like this, but I don't like this one either. For this one, saffron isn't the first note. In the other one, saffron was the first note, but this wasn't even, saffron isn't even the first note, but this to me is like a saffron bomb as well. It literally smells like as if they are twins because this one has a little bit less saffron than the other one, but to me, they smell really, really similar. It's like, it's like the daytime version of whatever that one was. Zero out of 10. Next we have Will Be Loved by Epico or Epico. This one is a beautiful, sweet, candy-like fragrance. Looking at the notes, looks like something that I would love. Um, to me, this smells kind of in the similar ballpark as the Vanilla Rock Sugar from Kayali, except it's not as sweet. I think this one is a bit more wearable for work and I feel like vanilla rock sugar is more for after work, for weekends, nights and thing, things like that. And to me, I feel like if you like sweet gourmand fragrances, this is kind of a safe blind buy, but like based off of this video, we are not encouraging any blind buy. I encourage you to sample. And if you do like sweet fragrances, I, I really think that you're gonna like this. This has milk cream, orange bergamot caramel it's beautiful very beautiful it's nothing to write home about but it is beautiful i give this one like i give this one an eight next we have another extremely strong fragrance this is santal astral by matier premier matier premier i don't know i don't speak french but this is a sandalwood bomb okay i love sandalwood but i feel like they they crushed a thousand sandalwood trees and put it in this tiny little little glass bo bottle right here i only did a single dab like that and it was so pungent and strong that after giving it some time to develop on my skin just so i can really you know give this a full review i needed to wash it off not for me i do want to try their vanilla powder um, only because like I really do love vanilla and I thought that I would love this but this is this is very masculine to me and very strong not a fan I give this one maybe a, a two out of ten if I'm being generous the last fragrance I'm gonna review is Van Ecstasy by Mason Matahe I think this is a gorgeous vanilla scent it is a little basic it, but it does have but it does have coconut caramel vanilla sandalwood peru balsam i don't know what peru balsam is i think it's balsamic vinegar i think this smells like a very good basic vanilla i'm sorry that's a little basic but it's beautiful beautiful sometimes basic is beautiful and sometimes beautiful is all you need but if you want to save you some coins this to me on my skin smells exactly like vanilla bourbon from mix bar at target and I have the body spray and it smells identical. This one doesn't have any like cognac or, or bourbon notes in it. So I don't know how my body's picking up on that. Like, I, I don't know. But to me, to my nose, it smells exactly like this. It smells like a dupe. So if you wanna save you some coins and you wanna smell like Van Ecstasy, I say go and get that, that bourbon vanilla from Mix Bar at Target. So that is it guys. Those are all the samples that I have to review for you today. I got them all from Lucky Scent. I really recommend going to Lucky Scent or Twisted Lily to get samples of niche perfumes because you do want to like experiment and try some of these like cool niche fragrances that are popular all over social media. I recommend going to these sites and getting yourself some samples so you can save yourself some coins, make some, put some things on your wish list and eventually get them. If you did like this video, please hit that share button, like, comment, and let me know if you've blind bought any of these fragrances or you sampled them and smelt them or if there are other samples of of niche fragrances that you want me to review please also follow me on tiktok i post like five to six days a week i'd love to see you there and i'll see you guys in the next video bye